Hey, what's up, YouTube? Bo Art Take over here, back with another action figure review. Today we have the Mafex Hush Batman, the black version. Now let's get into it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, men, the moment we've all been waiting for, the long-awaited, highly anticipated Mafex Batman. Now, um, I gotta say, I am excited to finally have this guy in hand, but there are some issues that I want to point out right quick. So I'm going to jump right into that. Oh, Batman. First thing I want to talk about is his cape. Now you got to excuse the dust. I don't know where that came from. But yeah, first thing I want to talk about is this cape. Um, I like the cape. I like the cape. I like the uh, the material of the cape. But it feels kind of like a, I don't know, silk, you know, some soft type of almost suede something like that it's kind of like the first one but i think it translated better with this black one it looks freaking awesome you know and at first i thought that maybe the wire was a little thicker but nah nah they ain't do that mafax wouldn't do that i'm going to point out this issue one of the main things my biggest issue with this figure right now is the cape because when the cape came let me see if i can capture this for you guys all right, so I don't know how well you're going to be able to see that, but it looks like some type of, I don't know, man, like some dried up ink or something that happened right there. And like when you try to, you know, keep him posed, like once you know what's there, like you can't escape it. It's going to be right there. Like every time you show the pictures and stuff, eventually somebody else is going to see it. Other issue I have with the cape is, of course, you got the, the four, um, four wires that they put in, you know, which leaves the back just flash it which sucks but that right there as you can see the wires already coming through the seam that is very irritating right there you know at one point the wire just it practically fell out of the cape you know so that freaking sucks and the third issue that i have with this cape so right here there is a small rip inside of the cape you know and maybe the other things i could forgive the the wire coming out and no, i can't forgive that i hate that um but it's a freaking rip and the, the cape, you know, and, and that's really irritating because I've spent like, you know, almost $100 for this thing, you know, like you want it to be as perfect as, as humanly possible. But yeah, so you got the wire falling out, you got the rip right there, and then you got the little ink stain going on. And um, on top of that, there are some small, like there's a, a lot of, you won't be able to see it, but up close, like in person, like there are many like specks in like, around the black areas of his outfit like um you won't even be able to you know you might be able to see a little bit of it the other thing is uh it's like a white i don't know what that is right there some paint i don't know what that is but right there and in, in the middle of this cow which sucks and then there's uh some type of white looks like unfinished you know maybe they missed the mark maybe they you know, took a break and forgot it. Oh, I'll do that part later. I don't know what happened, man. But um, that sucks as well. And then the other thing I want to talk about, but I'll get into it later, is the torso area, which is hella tight. Coming in for the details, I won't get into that too much. If you already have the previous version, you already know what's going on with it. But as you can see, he's got some sculpt marks going on, you know, around the face. You know, it shows that. You know, it's a mask, a face under the mask, which is cool. I like the ears, the sculpted under the, the mask as well. You know, the ears pointy, just a little, got a slight flex to it. The logo, which looks all right. Looks like, I don't know, maybe, maybe a missed mark right there. Scope work, scope work for the muscles. Scope work for the back looks all right. His arms look good. Back of the leg. I like the treads on the bottom of the feet. All right, so coming in for the articulation, you got a drain right there, you got a drain right there, but on my particular copy, this uh, joint down there is, is very tight. Won't be able to do this guy justice showing his articulation on mines, but I will continue. Can go up about that much. Hey, it can go down. Like I said, um, I'm sure it can go down more than that. The previous version, I believe his head can go down more than that, but it is very tight. You got a slight rock. Yeah, man, that shit is freaking tight. Full swivel at the head. Looks like a hinge with a ball going into a socket. It can move forward, shift forward just a little bit. I'm just gonna go up about that far, so that's pretty cool. Shift motion at the shoulder. Of course, you got your rotation. Looks like a double drain for the elbow. Can only go in about that much, but that's all right. 
soft plastic for the wrist spikes. Ball hinge for the wrist, you get your in and out, and you can kind of rotate that peg around to get some variation with it. Top part of the torso is super tight. I was able to free up the bottom a little bit, was able to free up the legs a little bit with some hot water, but the top is still pretty tight. Forward about that much, so that's not bad. Get some side to side motion. Probably good more than that, but you know. It gets rotation at both joints, but mine's, oh man. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to stop the video. Drop down motion for the legs. Looks like they're both connected. Before it starts to really curve out, your leg can come up about that much. Double joints for the knees, so that works. That's okay. Legs can only go out about that much, so that could be a little better. Got your ball hinge for the toes. Toes can go down about that much, go up about that much. You can turn the toe around and get a decent little rocker, so that's all right. And you got your toe hinge, which is kind of loose. Real quick, for your size comparisons, we have them next to the NECA Ninja Gaiden figure and the 2020 exclusive Storm Collectible Samurai Showdown Hammerable figure. Next, we have them next to your Mayfax Cyclops and the Kotobukiya Zero Model Kit. Next, we have them next to the Storm Collectibles 2020 exclusive Golden Axe Skeleton figure and the NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle movie figure, Michelangelo. Next, we have him next to the Marvel Legends Shang-Chi figure and the McFarlane Warhammer figure. Next, we have him next to the previously released Mafex Hush Batman and the, I believe this is the DC Essentials bad girl. Correct me if I'm wrong. Taking a look at both of these guys side by side, it looks like the same exact body. Just the paint is different. You know, it looks like the orange on the previous one is a little brighter. Maybe this one is a little more, has a little more of a goldish yellow look to it. Did I say orange? Quick look at the box. You can see what's different if you already own the figure. There is an image on the inside of the cardboard box. Looks like Batman. Bottom, side, back, other side, and the top. Two fists with a bunch of battle rings attached. Two cupping hands. Two, I don't know, maybe gripping hands. I like these. These are cool. I'm guessing these two hands would be to hold the cape. And you got your two alternate battering hands. I like that they gave alternate sides for that, so that's pretty cool. There's a hole inside the battering, and I'll show you how you put in the grappling hook. Extended grappling hook. Ports right in this hole. Retracted grappling hook. And mine's is a little warped. Comes with an alternate head, which looks pretty good. The teeth look a little too dark. He also comes with two batterings, two of each set, which looks nice. And the last accessory that he comes with, I forget what these things are called, uh, a gargoyle, rooftop ledge, something like that. But uh, I think this is an eagle. You see the little detail? It's got texture all over it. Looks like gray dry brush, dark colors. Looks pretty cool. It's already starting to separate too, right there. Look at the top, there's a hole for the stand peg. And you got your standard Mayfax stand still in the package. All right, so final thoughts on this figure. You got the paint defects. You got the wire coming out of the cape. You got a, you got this, you got that. And then this figure was pretty pricey too. You know, you're paying almost a hundred dollars. So that, so that's unacceptable. All things considered though, more than likely everybody is going to get the same exact type of copy that I've got. So, you know, chances are someone's got a great one. Ultimately, yeah, I guess I would recommend it, but like I said, it, it, the price is still a little too high. All right, so that's my video. Real quick, I want to leave a plug for a giveaway contest that I'm doing. The video is about maybe eight videos deep. You know, if you go and visit my channel, I'm not going to reveal the details there. I want you to watch the video, but I'm giving away a brand new Mafex item. Did someone say free? Because I can pay for it. I'll pay for it. I'm thinking about buying the building. I've already bought the building. <laughs> so that's my video. If you like the content, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like the content, give it a thumbs down. Stay tuned for more. Subscribe if you haven't. Peace.